Hi, good morning, all of you. My name is Dr. M. Kamakshaya. I am an open source software evangelist and also a freelance full stack developer. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with PSPP. This is actually one of the potential alternatives uh, to one of the very popular software application meant for data science and uh, not for data science but statistical analysis known as SPSS. SPSS is an IBM software and if you are an academic and if you are watching this video I'm sure you should be knowing about SPSS and in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain and install PSPP in Windows operating system. Now if you are, if you have an in an operating win uh, uh, Windows 10 in your computer you have to press start button and then write PSPP now you will get some updates in your window start window some certain information related to PSPP now if you press enter regardless of what it is now it will redirect you to a link now you can either go here but instead of going here you have a section called PSPP this PSPP is actually a new software new stands for GNOME not UNIX this was started by a very great uh, social computer philanthropist known as RMS um, Richard M. Stallman and um, there's a great history behind all these open source and free software I'm going to explain you this because I don't use PSPP uh, one why I don't use it that it is uh, a commercial software application uh, which is not uh, meant for academics as an academic I always strong to have I mean long to have some sort of uh, open source software because uh, uh, one of the other reasons why I don't uh, suggest or use or suggest I don't use or suggest uh, others I dissuade others to use uh, SPSS is that uh, there's a lot of piracy in academics since this is a commercial software people try to uh, pilfer the software through keys or cracks whatever it is but that is not a good thing in academics if you are an academic by definition you need to be an ethicist using pirated software is not uh, kind of uh, so I don't like to even uh, use uh, Windows because I'm using an operating system you can see here it is actually a, a licensed software but unfortunately my organization will not provide me the key and this is not correct so uh, if you are using Windows pirated software either you are using by compulsion or maybe by choice and if I have a choice for uh, multifarious opportunities then I surely will go for Linux okay any further uh, unnecessary description let me show you you have a small button called download here when you press on this download then you will have different alternatives uh, I always use PSPP in Linux machine I am on my office machine it is not my personal machine uh, where I have Windows pirated copy and then I have um, I'm just uh, going to show you how to install this PSPP inside Windows you have an option for Windows here you just have to right click and open a new tab then you see it is not going to <laughs> I'm behind the uh, uh, proxy in my organization and this shows <laughs> this is what is the part of ignorance you see we have a very uh, philanthropic uh, activity and our systems will not uh, support this uh, you know educated activity but we have all the kind of suppose if I open you know SPSS I it is going to th I'm sorry I'm in bingo Windows Explorer let me go to the uh, let me also copy this and see if I can open in Firefox I'm sure I will not be able to open I'm so I'm sure now if you press uh, there are other alternative ways PSPP 
and if you press PSPP, you will be having um, yeah PSPP4 for Windows something SourceForge.net. I, I think you should be able to open SourceForge. This is one of the popular platforms for free and open source software applications. Now you have a download button. You can just press this button. Your download is going to start in no time. And now I will be able to show you. Now my download started. Save file somewhere in your computer. I'm just going to take this to my uh, software directory. And this is, by the way, this is an executable file. It is always better to download the software from GNU. Okay. I'm happy at least the new .org is opened in my <laughs> browser otherwise you know, no this is a meaningless thing we our computers of the, the way we are we are very bad computer users we don't have sufficient uh, if there is a philanthropic uh, software like open source and we don't use it if there is some kind of commercial software we try to plunder or pilfer try for some cracks and all this is unreasonable computing behavior we have it computing and software now okay let me see yeah it is finished now let me go to the folder right click run as administrator now i'm going to show you this is just uh, a, i mean there is nothing special installing PSPP. you just have to click next 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 something like that it is going to you should be aware of the installation directory which means home directory for PSPP. it's going to program files it is okay as long as it is in c directory going inside pro program files it's okay for you, okay? Because it will be available for all. Now let me close all these things and uh, I'll keep my computer until close all. Now let's go here. Yeah, everything is completed. Close. Now after installation, if you press your start button, press PSPP. Now this time you should be able to see the application unlike earlier now you see I have opened this is how it looks like where the first time when you open it looks exactly the way you see the rather much better you see here you have data view and variable view if you have some idea about SPSS then you should be able to understand what is data view and variable view now you have if you go to the data view you have file open new syntax file this is you can start writing your programs just like you do that inside uh, SPSS and open file import data something like that now you have edit and you have view you have data and now there are a few uh, think I think transpose is what is uh, it's not transpose yeah you have transform here uh, have a couple of uh, options I think you should be having more than this this record uh, into same variable record into different variable is very very important for you in SPSS you will be having quite a few other options I mean so many options but here you have very less options because it's open source software and it is still under development there are a couple of souls working on this uh, software application and we need to salute them at least they are able to do to this extent now you have analyze you have very few methods here but they are all sufficient to create a reasonable dissertation or maybe PhD thesis because SPSS is used in academics not in industry since this is an alternative to SPSS uh, these are all sufficient for anybody to you have descriptive statistics you have uh, mean comparisons means uh, univariate bivariate statistical tests and you have univariate analysis here you have got some kind of uh, and you got uh, bivariate correlation k means factor relative regression linear and binary logistic non parametric statistics here you have uh, chi square binomial runs test and kind of other in reliability you have so you have provision for reliability as well as uh, factor analysis what is your need in today uh, for any reasonable PhD thesis or maybe a reasonable dissertation postgraduate dissertation uh, it is sufficient to have the factor analysis and uh, there is one thing structural equation modeling that you have quite a few other alternatives I mean open source alternative alternatives to SPSS AMOS is very popular but again I don't suggest SPSS AMOS because it is uh, commercial software 
there are quite a few other open source alternatives i shall be able to talk about them in one of the video cast uh, i will show you how to perform the analysis in my next videos this is for this video i just wanted to show you how to obtain pspp and open there is a menu for graphs if you have data inside your computer you can just start working with you have utilities um, and then window help something like that so to close this you just have to press on this uh, cross button this is what is SPSS if you like my video please press like subscribe to my video channel stay tuned for the new content thanks thank you very much